We have uh, a frame that we actually made and it fell down and it got all rattly or, you know, got all messed up. So uh, I'm gonna repair it. The first thing I did is uh, there were two nails in each of these corners and so I very gracefully like wiggled them apart and then I just used a pair of pliers to pull those nails out completely. Uh, the best way to do that is not to pull straight but I grabbed pliers with a little nub on them like this and if you grab them and then pull sideways like this, it pulls it out super easy. So that's what I did. So now I have all of my pieces here. It's very important for frames, especially if it was something that was custom framed or even something that you've made. Um, you know that frames are very, very particular. Uh, each side, even though it looks symmetrical, is probably not exactly symmetrical. Um, so it's important to make sure that you've got everything labeled. So uh, I have, here we go, so that's the top. So that's how I know it's my top because there's a number on here because these are for my paintings. Um, so I, I know which painting goes goes to which frame. So that's how I know that that's my top there. And then I have everything laid out. And I'm just gonna use tight bond, or tight bond uh, original. That's what we usually use around here, but you can use whatever you want. Um, I've also got some blue tape so um some painters tape we always have it around the shop masking tape is fine too whatever you have uh just laying around and i already peeled four pieces and set them aside because i don't want to do that in the middle of doing what i'm doing right so now uh, first things first we've got it all laid out and everything you don't need a ton of glue for this you only need just a little bit of glue because you're going to nail the corners anyways so it's just an extra layer of reinforcement is all you need okay so we've got our first layer here, and that's literally how much glue I'm putting on there. Um, and then I spread it with my finger just a little bit to make sure it's gonna get maximum coverage. And then I wipe that on whatever's closest to me. Um, and I stick these little guys together, match them up perfect. Actually. I'm gonna do it this way because this is a more precise way to do it. So if you lay them down like this and make sure you butt your edges up perfectly. There we go. And then lay it on the tape there. And when you do this, they should line up precisely. Perfect, okay. So there we go, we got one. extremely careful never point it at yourself never point it at somebody else it just be very very safe with it and very cautious never put your hand on the other side of anything that you're nailing uh you know that's basic you know nail gun 101 so what you want to do um is we're going to put two nails in here and the first one put this, like, this up so you guys can see um so the first one we're going to go this way directly in and then the second one, we're gonna go this way directly in, and then that will create a little clamp in there so they can hang on to each other. So since I'm painting with black paint, I'm just gonna fill the holes up with that black paint. You can use wood putty if you want to, or honestly, you can leave them if you want more of a rustic uh, look. She's gallery ready now that we fixed our frame. She's ready to rock. <laughs>